What's up, my fuckers? This is Brian from Vital Remains. I'm here to take you on a tour of our lovely uh, van to go rental van that we have here today and uh, show you how much it fucking stinks. Uh, basically, here we have your, uh, for a hundred bucks a day, you two can live like this. You know, with your fucking melted ass fucking shakes from Culver's. Or usually it's Dunkin' Donuts coffee because that's the only thing that keeps you going when you gotta do like 600 miles overnight. Tony does 99.9% .9 of all driving, which is good because he's kind of an older dude, so he doesn't, you know, drive like us young guys do. You know, I feel safe sleeping in the back. He's always got Gator right up here in front, 100% of the time. Gator works the GPS and keeps Tony on track. And then uh, if it's something real, real long, you know, where we have to make it overnight in 20 hours, you know, he'll crash out here in the middle bunch for a little bit and I'll take over. But... That's very, very rare. Usually I'd like to just get my ass in the fucking van as soon as possible and go right to sleep. So, um, that's really about it up here, man. You know, keep this bench open just for some luggage and stupid shit we always need to get to right away. And um, the rental van, so we're just lucky on this one. We actually have an aux cord where we can listen to something besides fucking Spanish radio <laughs> or fucking songs that haven't been relevant in 40 years. Well, the key on this side... You know, we used to have the transit vans from Bandigo. A lot of the transit vans have like the captain's chair and another one here, this big gap in the middle you're trying to sleep on, it sucks. So we actually like these 15 passengers more because you can actually lay down on these things. This middle one we always keep for luggage and shit we gotta get to right away. Yeah, I like to keep my wireless mic right underneath the stand right here because that's usually the first thing, the last thing that goes on stage and the first thing that comes off and I always fucking lose it because I smoke a lot of weed. And then uh, over here, this is where Mr. James sleeps. Um, he likes this one because it got the inverter under here and he's Italian and he has to live on the internet. Get the the So, you know, he likes to have his computer. And we got four bunks and two captain's chairs. So when Tony wants to sleep, he'll uh, every night he'll pull over to a gas station or a rest area or something and he'll crash out on this. Yeah, you know, get some sleep before he's gotta drive again. Gator usually just kicks this back. That's James. The next one down is Dean. We put him in the middle because, well, that's just where we told him he was going. Uh, <laughs> I wanted the back because I smoke cigarettes, so if I want to get out in the middle of the night, I don't have to crawl over every motherfucker in the van to be able to get out to have a cigarette. I can spider monkey my little ass over the back seat and be able to get out and have a cigarette, smoke a ball, do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? So. You get our dinner for the night, 10 bucks at McDonald's. I was just telling them, Tony, for 100 bucks a day, they too can live like this. Living the dream. By dream, he means nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got it. Everything on one side of the value meal with that. That's yes, it. you know, th this will actually get me a large upgrade, you know, from the medium size to the large size. And I might, if I'm lucky, be able to get a dollar menu item with it. So, and only once a day, not not twice or three times, once a day. So, back here, see, it's just kind of awesome. We're here in Chicago. The first thing I see in the back of my bunk is my goddamn Brian Erlacher jersey fucking laying right back here. Hail Dicka, go Bears. So, essentially, I got this shit down to a science. You know, you have to hit up a Walmart first. And what you got to do is get you a couple of these queen-size mattress toppers. And you got to lay those down over the seat belts and the buckles. Get you a nice king-size comforter over that. And what I like to do is stack my luggage between this and the bunch. And then I cover that over, too. So now I actually have, like, a single-size bed back here. Get you an extra king-size comforter to cover up with because it does get cold back here. And uh, like I said, I can pop this door open, smoke a cigarette right out the back if I want to or something. I'm having to wake everybody up. Or uh, they snore a lot and the windows are rolled up. So when I want some air, I crack this thing open and I'm the only one to get some ventilation too. So that's, I always take the back, man. Dean, uh, he kind of sleeps right here. And that's just, like I said, you know, everybody else gets first pick and that's what he was left with. So, <laughs> but it's good. He don't snore. You know, a couple of the other guys, you got to... Uh, Make sure things are strategically strapped down to coffee tables. You know, lamps have been known to fall off in hotel rooms and shit from the seismic activity of the snoring. So, <clears throat> is what it is. That, uh, it's pretty much the van. Live in this motherfucker for two, three months on end every night. Get a hotel room when and if you even can. And uh, play some goddamn death metal.